Preparatory work. The installation site should be free from dust. Keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tools and terminal accessories are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Stripping. Strip the outer sheath of the cable according to the length of the installation instructions A. Leave 30 mm steel plate at the bottom. Strip the rest of the steel plate. Leave 10 mm inner sheath at the root. Peel off the inner sheath of other cables and peel off the filler. Be careful not to scratch the copper shielding layer of the cable. Separate the three faces and wrap the copper shield at the cable end of each faces with PVC tape. Grounding. Wipe the dirt on the 50 mm peeling surface of cable outer sheath. Polish the oxide layer and paint on the steel plate surface with sandpaper. Secure the armored ground wire to the steel armored with a constant force spring. Wrap the Kalston force spring with PVC tape. The copper shielded grounding wire is embedded in the three phase bifurcation of the cable with triangular cushion comb. Fixed on the copper shielding layer with a Kalston force spring. and wrapped with PVC tape. Fill the gap between the two constant force springs with filling glue and wind the constant force spring. Wrap a layer of insulating self-adhesive tape around the filling adhesive and lap the outer sheath 10 mm. Wrap a layer of sealant around the connection between the cable outer sheath and the insulation self-adhesive tape. Install cold shrink breakout and cold shrink pipe. Put three cold shrinkable sleeves into the root. Put up the support strip. When pulling, the support strip should be pulled first, and then the root support strip should be pulled counterclockwise when pulling the support strip. In accordance with the correct direction, put in the cold shrinkable insulation tube. The cold shrinkable tube and the support sleeve finger lap, 20 to 30 millimeters. Put out the support strip. If the insulation tube needs to be extended and lap 20 to 30 millimeters with the previous one. Copper shooting, semiconducting layer processing. Check the length between the top of the cable and the shrinkage tube with the ruler and cut up the excessive cold shrink tube according to the length of the ruler. Determine the length of the copper shooting layer according to the scale. Mark and fix the copper shooting layer with PVC.
pay attention not to hurt the semiconductive layer when peeling the copper shielding layer, and mark the face respectively. Determine the stripping length of the semiconductive layer according to the scale. Mark and strip the semiconductive layer. Do not hurt the insulation layer when stripping the semiconductive layer. The end of the semiconductive layer is chamfered with a tool to smooth the transition between the semiconductive layer and the insulating layer. Add 3 mm to the depth of the terminal hole and cut the insulation of each face. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. When polishing the insulation layer, be careful not to polish to the half-guide layer. Installation Terminal Head Clean the surface of the insulating layer towards the semiconductive layer when cleaning paper. Wrap the semiconductive tape in semi-lap mode on the copper shield and lap the semiconductive layer 5 mm and lap the cold shrink tube 3 to 5 mm. Make it a smooth slope. Use a ruler to locate the terminal installation reference line and mark it with PVC tape. Use cleaning paper to turn the insulating layer towards the semiconductive layer and clean the surface. Apply silicon grease evenly on the surface of the insulating layer. Put the terminal head on the cable. Align it with the installation reference line. Put out the support bar to shrink the terminal head and pull the support bar counterclockwise. Crimp terminal, copper sealing tube. Cover the terminal, press the terminal according to the national standard and remove the edges and burrs of the terminal. Wrap sealant around the wiring terminal crimping area to fill in the gap between the insulation layer and the terminal and the terminal indentation. Wrap a layer of insulating self-adhesive tape around the sealant. Cover the coat shrink sealing tube. Remove the support strip and cut off the excessive coat shrink sealing tube. Installation finish. Clean up the site. Thank you for watching.